Hi, thanks for tuning in. It's Elvir. Today I wanted to talk to you briefly about The Strangest Secret. This is by Earl Nightingale. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe not. If not, then I'm really suggesting that you watch it either on YouTube or that you purchase the little booklet. It's a, it's a great little booklet. This is what it looks like. Great Christmas gift, by the way. The Strangest Secret. Well, for eons we have been wondering what it is that makes us do what we do and Earl Nightingale sort of put it or sort of he succinctly put it into words the strangest secret as he says is you become what you think about most of the time so whatever thoughts are going on in your head that's what will manifest even the thoughts that you're not fully aware of that are just buzzing in the background they will manifest at a certain point. There is a comparison that he makes and I'd like to bring it to you because it just may just help you a little bit better. When you think of a farmer and he he sows, as it says in the Bible, as you sow, so shall you reap. When he sows corn or whether he sows nightshade, the soil is neutral. And compare that to our subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is neutral as well. So the corn seeds will grow corn and the nightshade, which by the way is a poison, will grow the nightshades. Beautiful plant, by the way, purple flowers, poisonous like crazy. The same is with our subconscious, with our mind. Whether you put positive thoughts in there, whether you put negative thoughts in there, the subconscious makes no difference. It just is neutral and it gives back to you what you put in there. So the question is, what do you desire to have in your life? Positive things or negative things? What are you focusing on? What are you thinking about most of the time? Whatever you do, do your best in every way possible to think of positive things. Now, a big help with that is, what is your goal? What is your outcome that you're looking at, that you would like to to have in your life, that you desire to live? What is the lifestyle? If you can write that down on a piece of paper, and as Earl Nightingale suggests, make it on a little card. And it's even better if you put it in a little plastic so that it doesn't get dirty and you have it in your pocket. If you carry that with you on a constant basis, just a small, a small little card, just like a business card, and you look at it in your pocket, Whatever is written on that little card should be a reminder. The whole picture of what it is that you desire to have, to have comes up for you. So just look at it as many times per day as you can. That is the basis of starting to create the life that you desire to have. What you think about most of the time is what you become. It also says in the Bible, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. That is the same. As you sow, so shall you reap. That is all the same. It's in the Bible. It's nothing new. It was brought up again in The Secret, the movie The Secret, a number of years ago. So the strangest secret is actually no secret. The strangest secret is simply put into words by Earl Nightingale. You become what you think about most of the time. And hopefully that analogy with the soil that you can plant any kind of seed in, the soil is neutral, gives it back. Hopefully that helps you. Give it a shot for 30 days. Write down on a little card what it is that you desire most in your life right now or within the next six months or within a year. Write it down and then keep going. But just focus on that for 30 days and just see what will take place in your life. All sorts of miraculous events will start to take place when you concentrate your thoughts on that. Hope this helps you a little bit. I wish you all the luck. You deserve the best there is, but you create the best there is for yourself. Believe it, you can achieve it. Thanks for tuning in.